So, Ruslana, thank you very much for being here in London for this um, a great concert tonight. Absolutely. Uh, we are now in uh, Assembly Hall. Uh, it's a really nice place in London. I bring a lot of energy uh, with wild dancers, with a lot of amazing songs, which I created for all this time uh, after my victory in Istanbul. And of course, I'm waiting for the for this amazing, crazy audience. I think so. My fans and my friends and a lot of Ukrainians here. We celebrated uh, uh, 25 years for independence. Uh, you know, for. Ukrainians very important to unite around the world for mm. the you know for best future. So I'm I'm really happy to be in London because a lot of uh, things you know um, um, remind me uh, for a lot of positive uh, important things in my life. Wild dance started here. I recorded my album Wild Dances in mm. Peter Gabriel studio. I work with many producers here and I. Uh, uh, I performed many times here. I had an amazing tour in uh, in UK. Uh, it was 2005. It was m more than 20 performances uh, for biggest city in in in, uh, uh, in in UK. And I performed for BBC here. And I was invited many many times for uh, different uh, events of Eurovision Song Contest here also. And I, I performed in Oxford, and I performed for many uh, amazing schools and university here, and uh, in, in the clubs uh, around, uh, uh, not just in London. I performed last time in Manchester. It was like, like few months ago. So, uh, no, for, for me, uh, UK is really a country which I love and I feel. Okay, and my, so my first question would like to know what was your reaction when Jamala won the Eurovision Song Contest and bring to Ukraine a second victory for in the contest after you? It was my plan. I I I'm really uh, wanted it. Uh, I'm, I'm I was waiting for this moment again because Ukraine. I, now I speak with you, not just a musician. Jamala, my big big friend. I think uh, uh, she is uh, biggest friend uh, uh, in Ukraine, uh, uh, not just like musician, like singer, but also as a social voice because she is from Crimea, and uh, I respect her social voice. And as you know, I was also and I st still mm -hmm. also social voice uh, uh, from Maidan. And I, you know, I spend a lot of time for, for support my country and uh, uh, fighting with the, this really terrible propaganda. Yeah, exactly. So a, a lot of you know bad things for for to last years. And I, I was a jury uh, when we choose the participant for Eurovision Song Contest this year so for national national selection final. And I had even battle with other juries to, to support Jamala. It was my uh, this decision, my big decision. I ask audience uh, through broadcast mm, this performance, that, yeah. and I ask people just support Jamala because it's one way to win again. And uh, I I was surprised, but at the same time, it was moment which I I was waiting really strong, really. Uh, it's really needed thing. Mm. Uh, this uh, victory um, give a lot of energy for people who lost harm in Crimea. Mm. So it, it now it's most social mm. power, modern okay. music. And uh, concerning the the Ukrainian uh, national selections uh, next year, and, and we know that uh, Konstantin Melatse will be reconducted in the jury. And Jamala will yes. be part of the jury. Yes. So there is a third member to be known, and uh, the the question I would like to know if uh, you will uh, be back in the Ukrainian jury for the next year's uh, selections. We will see, but 
I think I'm busy for uh, my new album and new performance, which I prepare, and also I'm busy for um, I'm one of organizers uh, of your regional contest in Ukraine, mm -hmm. so I have a lot of uh, things which I need to to prepare, to control, to you know uh, prom a lot of for promotion <laughs> things. Uh, I don't know, do I need it a, a second time? Because, you know, I, uh, I, I did everything mm. for this year. So, uh, I think Meladze and uh, Jamala and maybe other guys, uh, not me, because, mm. uh, because uh, I have no idea now who... Uh, can present Ukraine, just Jamala decided. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, in my, last, okay. in my last question is for, um, uh, for the fans, uh, I would like to ask you, how can we enjoy next year Eurovision 2017 uh, in Ukraine, Kiev? How can we enjoy it as uh, Eurovision fans who will be in uh, Kiev uh, next year? I have great message, just visit us. We have a really nice place to bring a lot of new and original things with exotic, with a, you know, positive energy. It's really big celebration for Ukraine. A lot of people, people prepare a lot of good things with the art, with the musicians, with the, uh, you know, uh, cooking for, uh, cooking uh, really nice Ukrainian foods. Uh, you you can taste uh, uh, a lot of exotic with a lot of positive energy. Just just visit us. Just come to Ukraine. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank and you. see you in Paris in November the fifth. Yes, yes, brothers. Thank you. I